it's time for Chop Dice. Hey guys, welcome to Top Dice and I made. Well, a bit of background. I've not been seen much recently on the channel. Um, it, it, that will change. Uh, basically, things have kind of got in the way, real life, etc. Work has been uh, has been quite intense. So, um, yeah, back with it. And um, it's good to be back to a certain degree. I'll probably kickstart things properly in September, get August out of the way. But there was a game that came in and um, I thought I'd share it with you. So, hence today. So, what is the game? Right, well, so many games that have come through. I've got loads of Kickstarters that are actually due and other crowdfunding ones. These I will share with you as they're coming through. But this one is Arkham Horror role-playing game, Hungering Abyss. It's the starter set um, or the beginner set. So, this came in hot off the press. So I thought I'd share a little bit of the uh, the opening uh, with you. So let's see what's in the box. Okay, so this one, um, it actually came from Loaded Dice. Uh, very impressed with their service. I had ordered it from one of the, uh, the other bigger retailers with the promise of it being cheaper and on time. But unfortunately, it didn't arrive. I'm not going to name that retailer because I think it's very unfair. But um, I sent a message and order across to uh, to Loaded Dice, and um, they were very quick in responding to confirm that it was in stock. And, uh, yeah, she ordered and, uh, and sent to me when I'd paid for it, which is absolutely excellent. And it came through with an added bonus of some extra promo D6s. So, okie dokie, just a nice little touch. Wasn't expecting them extra dice for the box set so all good on that side so thank you very much uh, loaded dice i just need to sort of say for the record that um there was no sort of favoritism they didn't know who i actually was or anything um and that was quite a nice touch so i'll, I'll be sending them some orders in the future along with other regular uh, companies and organizations that i actually use so anyway what's in the box well Let's open it up and have a look. Right, just taking the lid off. It's a very sturdy box, quite nice. No idea what to expect, by the way. Arkham Horror, the role-playing game, you're probably going to be aware of um, Arkham Horror board games that are done by uh, Fancy Fight Games. There's, there's quite a selection of them. Final Hour, Elder Sign. Um, Mansions of Madness, which is my personal favourite. They're all part of this particular line. And they've got a common theme in that they feature certain characters. And you get to know these characters quite well. And it just is great to play in one game with these characters and then port them over to another. The family absolutely love Mansions of Madness. That's the huge hit for us, or one of them. And uh, it's one that we, we really enjoy. So we've got Call of Cthulhu and play that as a family and as a group and with others really really good but i was just interested to see what this actually is so anyway you open the box first thing you can actually sort of see there is a book so first impressions okay it's stitched very glossy great art and um yeah, okay. Uh, again, really nice art on the inside cover. So basically, one thing with Fantasy Flight and such things. Now, this is by Edge, this uh, this particular role-playing game, which uh, is uh, it's done through them, obviously connected to the uh, the Arkham Horror line. Um, but it's a very similar look to anyone who's actually played any of the board games. It's got a very similar feel. There's a components list there. So, okay. Just looking at the components list, it tells me that um, I get uh, 12 black-sided, six-sided dice, uh, one adventure book, which I presume is this, 16 enemy and character, so enemy and ally profile cards, 21 item cards, various tokens, three double-sided maps, two slide puzzles, hmm. seven special pieces of evidence, and one games master board. 
The only thing I'm not sure about that is the slide puzzles. That's from my personal side. Now, slide puzzles feature quite heavily in the uh, Mansions of Madness game. Um, it's done on a computer and your character's adventures have got to solve various things. And part of this is an online slidey puzzle thing. So mm, I'm not sure how that's going to really work in game. But, well, you know, I'll give it a fair shot. There's a picture of the various components there. So I've got some idea of, of what to actually uh, expect. It's looking very, very Mansions of Madness-ish, sort of Arkham Horror-ish at this stage. The book looks like it's quite well laid out. Uh, it's a section on Games Master, and you seem to be sort of straight in to Howl of the, the Hounds. Now, I'm not going deliberately to actually show any of the adventure, but it looks like there's two, three acts in the adventure. Um, and from the quick comment that's actually sort of been there for some on the opening pages was that you will actually learn as you play. So that's the actual book. Looks quite good. So it did give us a list of components that, ah, what we got here. Okay, we've got some character folders. So they look like this. This is the first one out. Uh, it it's opens up and it looks like you've got a character sheet there and you've got a bit of background and you've got a story on the back as well, which I've just seen there, which is absolutely, uh, absolutely great. So you've got quite a bit of information. Story so far, you're William Yorick, a grave digger with the heart of an axer. Uh, you tend to the deceased of Arkham, keeping the places uh, where they rest tidy and peace, where you practice lines from dozens of your favourite plays uh, to a captive audience. Clue is in the name, I suppose, Yorick. Quite a Shakespearean one. But we've also got Daisy Walker. Uh, Daisy Walker, again, nice fold out. Uh, she's got a couple of spells I can see there. Okay. Daisy Walker. Um, Librarian of Miskatonic's University, re renowned Orn Library. You've access to the library's restricted collection. So there we go. It gives you a bit more background, actually, sort of there. And it looks like, as well, you get here a um, quick reference card on how to actually sort of play. I'll be looking at this in more depth, of course, as we're going for. Got Caroline Fern. Um, she's the uh, psych. Yep, she's the psychologist um, who works within the uh, sanatorium at Arkham. Rita Young. She is the um, athletics person, I think. Business and economics student at uh, Miskatonic University. Okay. Yep. So there you go. Um, yep. Rita Young. Uh, she appears in uh, in the various games as well. And again, you've got. Uh, your character sheet and other bits. Okay, that looks like you've uh, you've got um, something else. Ah, oh, hang on, we've got another one just lurking there. Joe Diamond, bit of a bit of a gangster guy. Um, there we go, the private investigator, known for tackling cases that most rational folk will consider to be supernatural hogwash. He's your man, and uh, again story and everything on the back so you, you, those are the characters there that you've got to go at um to anyone who's played the arkham Carolina games chances are they'll be known to them there are novels there's also and, and stories about these guys and also there's uh, quite a lot of other things that you pick up in the other games with it so moving on it mentioned three maps so here we go um they're fold out ones. Okay. Now, again, I've just spotted something on the other side of that. I'm not going to show you them in any great depth because it might give away a bit of the adventure and spoil it for you. But um, there we go. We've got, uh, again, um, a property. Uh, I, I won't show what the insides actually are. Oh, and you get to go to St. Mary's Hospital, clearly, as well as part of the adventure. Right, okay, you've got handouts. So, again, variety of handouts that are actually sort of there. 
and um, we're all oh, onto the counters, right? Okay, that's the first board. I'm guessing they're yeah, they're looking like they're the slidey puzzle things, um, which uh, again, uh, they're, they're the things I'm not not too sure about. But you know what? Like I said, I'll give it a go. Don't knock something till you've actually tried it. Lots of little counters and uh, looking at those boards, I'm guessing that's like the oh, knocked one of the counters out. Uh, that's looking like the the frame for one of the slidey puzzles potentially, or possibly both of them. Um, and there's another board there with yet more strangeness on. I'm not going to sort of dwell on that because again, it's various things that you might be discovering as part of things. Right. Okay. That this is like a GM screen as well. Okay. That must be the Games Masters board as they called it. Um on here we've got a trauma table, quick reference for investigators, and an injury table. So again, quite nice looking, quite basic. Obviously, you're not going to need much on this. And we're now down into the contents of the box. So quite quite a heavy box this actually is. So there's these. Right. Okay, these are sealed. I'm guessing these are the dice, in which case, we're talking 12 dice in the thing. It looks like we've got uh, potentially more because there's a couple of boxes of these. So we'll take a, take a look. And, of course, we've had the freebies as well um courtesy of uh, of uh, loaded dice.uk uh it's always good to support your local game shops by the way if you can please do so amazon obviously are great because they have such a huge selection they're quite cheap but where possible if you can afford please do support the uh, local ones okay in here oh, we have green dice quite nice um there's no special signs or anything on them um so they are basic dice basic basic d6 dice but that is absolutely fine um come in a nice little box let's put them back together that's your green dice i presume in here are some different Colored dice. So I've just spotted. I can open them up at the uh, at the bottom there, like that. And these are gray dice. So again, oh, didn't get these in such a way. So there we go. Gray dice. Um, yeah. There's looks like there's twelve of them in there as well. So that's uh, twenty four dice you actually end up with um, in the little dice boxes which which again look quite cool it's a little attention to detail that we've already spotted in this um it talks about cards got some cards there as well so um order protection again i'm quite leery to actually sort of start showing them because i don't want to sort of spoil anybody's game but they are very similar again to quite a lot of the arkham horror line cards so it, it similar artwork and the wording again looks quite familiar handouts uh, again more um a strange something on there don't know what that is but uh, i'm sure it will all become plain to us and uh, you've got some uh, some other cards there allies uh monsters um cultista 2 I'm not going to sort of show you've got, but you've got a couple of allies that you can actually sort of call upon. Uh, you've got uh, Agnes Baker and Lita Chandler, who are both uh, both allies uh, for you. And it looks like they get dice bulls, etc. as well. So anyway, there we go. We've opened the box up. We've had a look at it. Uh, overall impressions, yeah. Uh, it, you seem to get a lot for your money. Big bang for your book. Um, the components seem very high quality, um, very well, uh, very well put together. The handouts, etc. Again, they look 
realistic. They've got they've got a nice feel. So when you pass them out, uh, they seem like they will actually be uh, be a bit of a winner. The actual board, it's it it's thick, it's solid. That would take some hammering with that. So that's good. You've got your um, your various uh, tokens. I'll be punching those out in a little bit and uh, having a proper look at them later. But uh, yeah, it looks like you've got like obviously there's some sanity potentially those. Uh, oh, and health, health. So it looks like you've got sanity and health. This is going off the Arkham Horror um, games that I've actually sort of played myself. So it looks like you've got some sort of pointages there. And of course, you've got the um, so far for me suspect sliding puzzles, uh, more evidence as well there. And um, you've then got your three map sheets, which are double sided. Um, lots of them, it looks like they'll sort of see reuse value value as well. So like Arkham Woods, and I'm I'm guessing the uh, the hospital. It, it features quite a bit in the various books and uh, and lore, so you you'll be using that a fair bit, I would have thought. I do like these; these are quite nice. I just hope that the actual main game, when it comes out, includes rules for you to be able to create your own. Um, that said, I'd be more than happy to run these and have a lot of fun with them, and and I will be doing. I'll be using. Uh, using these for the actual starter game, obviously. And I'm looking forward to having a read of the book. That's looking like it's quite interesting. It's uh, It's got uh, 46, 47 pages. There's uh, an advert at the back, and uh, there's a credits at the back as well. So there's, there's a couple of pages that are knocked out of there because they've got full artwork on them or other things. But yeah, it, it's it's nice. And I'm presuming you will actually find how to play the game fully with that. So there we go. Um, Arkham Horror, the role-playing game, The Hungering Abyss. Now, somebody's actually sort of told me that if you go to the Edge uh, Studio website, that there's some downloads that you can get as well, which will actually enhance this. I've not had a look at that so far, but uh, I'm quite willing to believe them. Edge seem to be quite a cutting-edge game studio, and what they produce looks very, very good. Now, proof will be in the pudding when you actually sort of play it, but there we go. That's my review for today. Um, let's see how things happen, and I will give it a read-through, and I might come back and tell you what I actually sort of think once I've read through see if it's worth it but so far for production values i'd certainly give it eight and a half nine out of ten it looks really really good it's good value for money it's call of cthulhu-ish as in lovecraftian do we need another call of cthulhu-ish type game maybe we don't maybe this is going to do something a little bit different for us let's see what happens okay right well it's been good to be back i'll be back more properly, hopefully, in September. I'll be carrying on with Greyhawk and doing more of these. I've got quite a lot of games that are actually sort of coming through. Um, I am actually sort of thinning out my library from behind me. I've decided to keep the games that I will be playing or will be looking at rather than just keeping anything and everything. So, like I said, it'll be thinned out. As you can sort of see behind me, there's, there's quite a few different things on the shelf now than, uh, than what there was previously. Um, but, yep, yeah, I love my games. I enjoy them, and uh, it's a good chill out. I love just sitting there reading them as well. Right, thanks for watching. Click subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.